Hello everyone, this is Awab Akib and we are going to continue our March 2019's paper 2-1 with the task 4 of mail merging. So, we are going to produce letters for delegates who are going to join us on a trip to Gotham. Oh, I'm sorry, it's an archaeology trip. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so we have the RTF file, okay, uh, this triple letter, so we'll open it. Okay, so it's clearly a mail merging uh, format and we have the CSV file as the data source. Now the first step is to replace the date with the today's field. Okay, now it is very tempting here to you know just go go to this date and click on insert and date and time. Okay, if you do this, this is entirely wrong because you forgot my golden advice. You didn't read a bit ahead. Okay, so it clearly says that you have to show the code for the date field. Now if I will go to the print layout, it does not show you the code field. Okay, uh, code field. Sorry. And now before uh, you verify this first you go to options you go to advanced and then you go to uh, print yes so you please make sure that this is checked print field codes instead of their values so it's clear that the field code is not printing so I'll undo this now instead what I'll do is I'll go to quick parts I'll go to field I press on D and date here I get the date now essentially this is the same thing as before showing the same date but now if I press control P in the uh, layout it clearly shows me the field code instead of the date okay so I just take a screenshot of this and I paste this under evidence 13 sorry 12 done uh, for now let's just you know keep these um, brackets or these enclosures here okay I uh, will just replace them at the end to save our time because in exam I know every you know second is really precious okay so in the master document you have you have to maintain everything okay so please don't change any content of the uh, master document and now you are going to replace the chevrons with all these fields okay so TTL corresponds to title first name last name this is street city and blah 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 okay so let's start so we go to mailings now we select our source file so which was fieldtrip.csv so you go to the source folder and this is fieldtrip okay and if you click on this you see all these fields now where are they coming from if you open the csv file of fieldtrip in any text editor you'll see all these values okay so this is the first of the column names and these are the values underneath them with the commas so that is how we are getting the values. So TTL is to be replaced by title, FN by first name, last name, add one is city, street, city, country. So city, street, where is street? I think it was city, street, city, country. Okay. Okay, so never mind. I'm not going to cheat that. And we have country. Then you have first name again. And CSE is what is CSE? It is course. This is course. Then you have CR that is course ref. You have here the course ref. TT is your tutor. SD is your start date. Where is the start it is it is FTC is field trip cost anything else that we we'll left no everything is there okay so we've successfully filled all the uh, labels now to just erase these brackets these annoying brackets so just press control H to replace find the first one replace it with nothing and replace all okay so it's gone same for the other bracket and it's also bronze okay so within a couple of seconds we have successfully done this include your name center number in the footer of the document save the master document display the field codes so we save it now to go edit the footer you double click here you have to put all three options so like i said before you go to footer and you use the three blank columns so we were batman uh, we were in Gotham one two three and our student ID was triple zero three. Okay, so we have the footers as well. 
display the field codes now when you're printing the field codes the uh, sorry when you're printing this mail merge you have to make sure that the fields are displayed properly to the field codes and your sender number and your candidate number etc so if i press control p you can clearly see that all of the fields are not showing instead their field codes are showing okay so we have done this correctly so you print this okay and you need to merge the letters for only those delegates who want to go to the trip but who have not yet paid for the trip okay so just for our convenience we'll check what paid data looks like okay so paid is the um, where is paid yes here it is so yeah so it looks like yes yes no yes okay so it is basically a yes no so that's what we're going to put in our word query okay who have not yet paid for the trip so that means uh, we'll be using no as the criteria now how do i do that i'll go to mailing i uh, will go to the recipient list and from here we'll go to filter yes this is correct so we have to check the trip paid okay so if it is equal to no only then filter those records that have trip paid is equal to no as asked by the question okay so let's confirm it once if i preview the results we should get less than 11 because initially they were 11 yeah so we get four now okay so this is correct done okay so in your evidence document show your selection method okay no problem we'll just take a screenshot of this and we'll put it inside our evidence document nice and simple print the merge print the merge letters for selected delegates only okay so you're just going to print them so you preview the results and you are just going to merge and finish and you are going to print them as they are okay only these four letters not all of them just the four the ones that you sorted okay so task 4 is also done next video i'm going to i'm going to discuss task 5 thank you